What's good, YouTube? It's your boy DRIF. Hey, today we got another special video. Today we're gonna be reacting to when LA Knight. Wait, when LA Knight destroy destroying W wrestlers on the mic. That makes no sense. When LA Knight destroy wrestlers on the mic, he worded that completely wrong. But look, first time can cross channel. Make sure you're gonna hit a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe because we're almost at 5K and we are trying to hit 5K before the New Year's. That would mean a lot. And y'all already been going crazy, so let's go ahead and continue to go crazy. But look. Without further ado, if y'all got any other videos y'all want me to react to in particular, let me know down below in the comments. Without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm looking, I'm the head of the table, so acknowledge me. <laughs> One foot outside that ring, I'll hit you so hard, I'll knock that hair back to gray. <laughs> I don't know why you're telling me. Maybe if she's not sick of you, go tell your mommy. And while you're at it, tell her I said hi. Ooh. And misses the star of that show was your wife. You were just walking around being a baggage handler, carrying the bag, and she carries your little giblets in. <laughs> I got the right to explain my side, so let me talk to you. <laughs> According to page two of this order, what that means is that this order ain't worth the papers written on you, dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> and by the way, Kofi, how'd that little Kofi mania thing work out for you anyway? I mean, hey, LA, bro. I mean, we can't really say much about Kofi because at least Kofi has had a championship. It took him a while to, to it took him a while to become a, a world champion, but I mean, he's been a world champion, and I'm sure you, LA Knight, have not been. Well, I'm sure LA Knight's probably been wrestling longer than Kofi because LA Knight was in all these other promotions too, and Kofi's just been in WWE. Am I correct? Has Kofi only been in WWE, right? And he came in pretty young. And he's been in WWE for what, almost twenty years, if not twenty years now. So can't really talk too much trash to Kofi because Kofi's done it all. He's became a world champion. He's been Intercontinental champion. He's been United States champion. He's been a tag team champion. Known legend for the Royal Rumble, what he does in spectacular moments in the Royal Rumble. I mean, it's not too much you can really say about Kofi because Kofi's done it all. Um, LA Knight still proving himself. He's on fire right now. Speaking of him being on fire, what title do y'all think he's gonna capture? Because the United States Championship is on SmackDown right now, so it's probably gonna either be that, or it's, it, I think it's gonna be that. Cause I don't see him beating Roman. I didn't even see him beating Roman when he fought him recently. I didn't think he was gonna win at all. But I wanted him to win, but I didn't think he's gonna win at all. BFT is a good move, but I feel like there's something that he needs to change about his finisher because I feel like the BFT is okay, but it's just not. For me, personally, for me, it doesn't do it for me as, as well as something like, a, um, I mean, obviously, RKO is iconic. Super kicks are iconic, but I just feel like there's something that needs. BFT is a different move. You don't really see many people do a move like that, but. It's just for me, it's, it's kind of one of those weak finishers to me because we reacted to a video here of weak finishers and that's kind of one of the finishers to me that seems like it should be on there because you're just grabbing his head and pulling him down to the mat. I mean, to me personally, that's not really a strong finisher. But I could be wrong. Some of y'all could think different. But hey, it's my opinion. <laughs> Major player. I'm not a superstar. I'm a damn megastar. You come out here and you say this is your show. Tell them whose show this is. So if you want to come in here and tell me this is your show, show me. Mm. Welcome, my guest, LA Knight. And where was it? Ooh. We should be back to your little romper room, play with your little puppets. I ain't gonna lie, when they had this feud going on, didn't really nobody know who LA Knight was and nobody was really paying attention to him. I'm gonna be honest, I was one of the people that didn't really pay attention to LA Knight. But I did jump on the bandwagon. Come anywhere that gives you pleasure, it's okay with me. Let me talk to you. This little pop tart announcer over here just couldn't happen to get my hometown right a couple weeks ago. That ain't good enough for the megastar. It might be good enough for this gymnastic jerk up here. 
<laughs> would become a champion. No, Ted. When I beat him for the third time for this title, Ted, he won't be my butler. You will. Hmm. I'll own this belt, and I'll own you. Are you done running your fat jowls yet? Let me just check my receipt real quick. I didn't buy any of your BS. <laughs> we got night and seat in tomorrow night. You didn't have permission from your little chief to come out here, did you? Can talk himself. <laughs> Let me talk you to you. Shut up. You ever interrupt me <laughs> one more time, I will knock your black head off your dad body, you dumb son of a bitch. It, it's in this business, it's even more rare that you get to meet your heroes and then share the ring with them. And now that I have everything that I want, it's time to drop what I don't need. Oh! And I strayed from my path. Hey, Ted kind of took that. He sold that bump a little bit. He took, he, he, he flopped down pretty good. Don't need. Oh! Okay, and Ted. I strayed from my path. RP Bray. You just talked about fear. You just talked about respect. Right. See what I mean? Listen to the crowd. Listen to the crowd. This is back when he had the feud with Bray. What, Extreme Rules, I believe? This is when he had the feud with Bray. Listen to the crowd. Straight from my path. No cheers. Now, if you compare that to now, the roof is coming off the building every time. You just talked about fear. You just talked about respect. And so for that, I just want... Oh. Oh. He slapped him again, bro. It looks pretty good. I didn't come here for a WrestleMania moment. I came here to make money. Yeah. Shut up, I'm talking. He got dropped by a Saudi movie star Crown Jewel, right? Just get the feeling you're not allowed within 50 yards of a school, you creep. <laughs> I guess you can take the boy out of his mother's basement, but you can't take the mother's basement out of the boy. Let me just say something before I get out of here. This is his show. And I got to say, yeah. <laughs> because Grayson Waller, this just begun. Grayson Waller, your ass belongs to L.A. Knight. I forgot all about that. Might as well take his Hit stupid crap match. off. Let me talk to you. Pipe down, I'm talking. Yeah. I said, pipe down, I'm talking. You're competing for the NXT title tonight? Yeah. Well, it's good for you, but let me tell you this. I don't respect it. You ain't got to respect anything other than the fact that I'm about to be the NXT champion. It's called sports entertainment. You got the first half of that. I am both. Is the key. <laughs> L.A. Knight. Let me talk to you. You can milk yourself a name on YouTube, but right now, you're standing in my ring. If you ain't heard, you ain't listening hard enough. Look at that, you gained a couple. Good job. <laughs> stepping stone? Don't get hot. I ain't talking about your little stepping stones down there. <laughs> so if you think I'm not on your level, why don't you prove me wrong? I ain't going anywhere. Excuse me, LA Knight, can I, can I get a word? Let me talk to you. you hold, on, hold on, hold on. You're not going to fight your little goofy son. I'll fight him. I'll give him an L.A. moment. I'll, ca I'll call myself L.A. Mysterios. I'll be a dead man, <laughs> deadbeat dad, too. High five on that one, huh? <laughs> I'll be L.A. Mysterio. He said I'll be a deadbeat dad, too. That's O.D., bro. I'll call myself L.A. Mysterios. I'll be a deadbeat dead dad, too. High five on that one, huh? Has an opportunity against Santos Escobar Ooh. right now. Contract ladder match, someone's fortune. Welcome, sir. And uh, what brings you out here to watch? Well, I'm out here just protecting my investment, but if you cut me off again, I'll slap those glasses off your fat head. <laughs> <laughs> here they could smack you around. They could kick you out of the locker room. And what did you do? You took it. I'm not to be messed with. That's the difference between me and you. But here I am on the climb. Your career's in the damn toilet. Congratulations, still the Million Dollar Champion. Let me take a walk. Want to take a walk with me?
I'm just kidding. I ain't going anywhere with you. You guys been out here talking trash the whole time. Don't think I don't know. You keep talking. I make change out of both your five dollar asses. You ain't gonna get the smoke. You're gonna get smoked. Speaking of the street profits, do y'all like their new gimmick? Them being with Bobby Lashley, being heels now. Do y'all like that? Or do y'all like the the, act, the actual street profits? Y'all let me know. Cause me personally, I like the actual street profits. It's just it just feels weird seeing Montez Ford as a heel because we know how goofy he is. So it just feels weird. It feels kind of forced to me. Hit me with a mic. Money. Yeah. Listen to this place. He makes videos for fourteen-year-old girls and wants to call himself a megastar. Nana. Nana. Nah, nah. <laughs> Where he can stick each and every one of those bottles of prime. Yeah. yeah. This Grayson Waller's got hell to pay, and you've got to understand that. Or restraining orders by the end of the night you and your little dog because you will get your ass stomped and that's not an insult that is just a fact of life that case hanging up there in my grasp I'm about to pull it down and at long last it comes down in the hands of who who cares <laughs> Bray Wyatt your recent return one of the most talked about returns ever yet all you've done since you've returned is dressed like a damn circus freak well it wasn't me, my brother. It was Boy Howdy. LA, congratulations on your victory. You're now heading into a career-altering match <laughs> at Money in the Bank. Pair God, for... That's a lot of fluff you're getting into right now. Let's just go ahead and skip to what matters. I look at you. <laughs> I see a natural-born loser. If you lose, and lose you most certainly will, you become my butler. Mm. We're going to make you proud mm. when we bring home the title. Hit it, boys. You guys had a shot and you've become clowns. Here you are worried about posing instead of being out there winning real titles. Now you or your representatives have looked over. We all know why we're here. We know what we're doing, so let me talk to you. As far as where I'm looking, I'm the head of the table, so acknowledge me. Because while you failed over and over again, while you were busy doing suffering succotash. What, what is that a reference to? What, what movie or, or show? Is Roman doing something like a project outside of the... Well, yeah, probably. I, pro <clears throat> he probably is because he's never there. Is he referencing whatever the project is? Sucking Succotash is what they say on... Well, Sylvester on Looney Tunes says. The cat. So, is, is Roman doing some kind of Looney Tunes movie or something? Or is he just saying that just because? I don't know. But look, first time coming across, trying to make sure I get hit a thumbs up, man. Make sure y'all subscribe because we're almost at 5K, like I said. And without further ado, like this video, subscribe if you're new. It's your boy D-Rib, man. I'm out.